classification of nutrients. Majorly, nutrients are classified into two types. One, macronutrients. The substances which are required in large quantities are called macronutrients. Two, minor nutrients. The substances which are required in small amounts are called micronutrients. Macronutrients are again classified into following types. One, carbohydrates. Two, proteins. Three, fats. Four, water. Five, fiber. Micronutrients are further classified into two types. They are one, vitamins. Two, minerals. Let us discuss them in detail, one by one. One, carbohydrates. A class of nutrients that contain sugars and starches and is made of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. The ratio of hydrogen and oxygen is always 2 is to 1. Function. They provide energy in the form of calories. Act as body's main source of fuel. Classification. Majorly, carbohydrates are divided into two groups. They are A. Simple carbohydrates B. Complex carbohydrates A. Simple carbohydrates Simple carbohydrates that our body can easily utilize. They are also known as simple sugars. These are of two types, monosaccharides and disaccharides. Monosaccharides. They are made up of single sugar unit and their chemical formula is C6H12O6. Example 1. Glucose. Glucose is the only food the brain and nervous system can use for energy. It is also known as blood sugar and grape sugar. 2. Fructose. Mostly found in fruits, berries and honey. 3. Galactose, mostly found in milk. Disaccharides, they are made up of two sugar units having general chemical formula is C12H22O11. They will produce monomeric units upon hydrolysis. Example, 1. Sucrose. It is made up of glucose and fructose sugar units. It is also known as cane sugar because commonly found in sugar cane and sugar beets. Sucrose gives rise to glucose plus fructose. 2. Lactose. It is made up of glucose and galactose. It is also known as milk sugar because it is commonly present in milk. Lactose gives glucose plus galactose. 3. Maltose. It is made up of two glucose sugar units, mostly found in germinating seeds. Maltose gives glucose plus glucose. Complex carbohydrates. These are also known as polysaccharides. Carbohydrates made up of more than two sugar units. Starch. It is made up of large number of glucose units. It acts as a storage material in plants, sauce, bread, potatoes and grains, etc. Cellulose. It is a structural component of primary cell wall of plant cells and is made up of, of linear chains of glucose units. Glycogen. It also made up of glucose units which are branched. Excess amount of energy is stored 
in the form of glycogen in liver and muscle cells. 1. Fiber Some of the glucose units are linked together to form fiber and is a mixture of different carbohydrates which are not digested like other nutrients but pass through the gut nearly unchanged. Fiber is a tough, stringy part of vegetables, fruits and grains which humans cannot digest. Sauce, carrots, cabbage, avocado, maize, sorghum, beans, peas and cassava, etc. Importance. Fiber makes food bulky or bigger. This can help a person who is overweight to eat less food. Prevent constipation. Fiber slows the absorption of nutrients, so it helps nutrients to enter the bloodstream slowly. This is important for patients with diabetes myelitis. 1. Proteins Proteins are nutrients that help build and maintain body cells and tissues. It is recommended that 15 to 20 percent of the diet come from protein. Proteins contain 4 calories per gram. These are made up of carbon, oxygen, hydrogen and nitrogen. Importance Required in diet for growth development in making essential hormones and enzymes, improving immune functions, repairing of tissues, supplying energy in times when carbohydrates are not available during emergency conditions. The building blocks of proteins are amino acids. Based on number of amino acids in food, they are classified as complete and incomplete proteins. Complete proteins. Foods that contain all nine essential amino acids are complete proteins. All animal products are complete proteins. Example, meat, milk, poultry, cheese, fish and egg. Incomplete proteins. Not all protein foods have nine essential amino acids. These foods are called incomplete proteins. Plants have rich in incomplete proteins. Example, seeds, beans, and legumes, etc.